Yes, uh, so I wanted to give everybody an update of the email that I received the other night about uh, the situation I'm dealing with over there uh, with my, uh, I don't even want to call him a neighbor because he doesn't even really live there. It's his business, so we'll just say property owner. We're, uh, we're going to get some tasty treats to uh, these chickens here and we'll get on with this update. Oh, you guys, you guys hungry, huh? <laughs> oh, they know what's good for them, huh? <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> oh, you guys are, you guys are as bad as dogs. <laughs> oh, easy there. You gonna take care of that, hey, hey? <laughs> hey, hey, you're not being a very good rooster. Oh, it looks like that other rooster took care of it. Drama on the homestead. You guys want these treats? Look at them. You want these treats? You guys want these treats, huh? Oh yeah, you guys. It's like, it's like teasing them. Here, let's go. You guys done worked this over pretty good. Let's go somewhere. Look at these guys, look at them. Let's go somewhere where the, the ground needs a little bit of work. You guys ready? Cool. Run for your life. Good old spaghetti. Well, they uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Ooh. There you go, hey, hey. You finally acted like a rooster. Better watch yourself, old son. Man, I like hey, hey. He's a pretty good looking rooster. But, regardless, uh, what I was saying was, um, well... I got an email the other night and it wasn't really good news. And it probably has a lot to do with the video I made and posting all their information and you guys calling them. Cause I think I pretty much ticked them off. Well, that. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Which is fine because people are made to be feel uncomfortable when they're not doing the right thing, right? So needless to say, they sent me this email. Go ahead and pause it. You can read it. Yeah, so pretty much they're saying that they're going to stop uh, pursuing this whatsoever. They're pretty much shoving me off to the sheriff or anything that I need to report or file a complaint against. And they're going to close the case. Even though I've gone up there and I've sent them photograph after photograph at various times of the year. This has been going on for over a year. I've given them enough evidence, but they just seem to not be able to catch them when they go up there. Very odd, right? The only type of witness I enjoy being is a hostile one. You might be asking what I'm going to do, and there's not much I can do except for following their direction, calling the sheriff, filing a formal complaint, and, uh, well, there's another thing that I plan on doing. I plan on going to all uh, meetings that they have. They meet on the second Tuesday, second and fourth Tuesday of a month, I believe is what I uh, was told. And uh, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna try to understand this from a district supervisor's point of view. And I'm gonna learn this from the inside and I'm gonna see what's going on. Now, the reason for this is because I have to get to know my colleagues. But the ranks are nine lieutenants, five captains, three majors, and one very fat colonel who called me a cheeky fellow. So I'm gonna be there for the next two years, every meeting, unless I'm sick or something comes up, obviously, learning everything I possibly can about that position and those meetings. And you may be asking why, why would you call them colleagues? Well. I'll tell you why. In 2023, I'm running for District 2 County Supervisor. Y'all try to keep it down, I'm campaigning here. Yeah, yeah, hello. Some people's kids, I'll tell you what. There's no better way to be a servant of my community and help people out like me, like the situation I'm in, 
then go up there and become one of them. So yes, I'm going to figure this out. I'm gonna solve this problem long term from the inside. I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't happen to somebody else because I love my community. I love my county. There's a reason why I moved to this location because Whalen loves it. My family loves it. It's a highly sought after section of um, Eastern Nebraska. Well, this county in particular, great school districts, great everything. And I have to give them credit for that because the things that they've done in the past have made them that great. But I think complacency has set in and people are getting older in their age or they're getting set in their ways or they're getting uh, the good old boy system is like what I like to call it is coming into effect way too often. What's up guys? Hi. How was school? Good. Good. You ready for soccer practice? Yeah. Yeah. I got about an hour to get ready. Miss Thing here. She starts soccer today. Yeah. Yep. You excited? Yeah. You can get all dressed up, get your fancy bright pink shoes on. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna get some sports. Yeah. No more COVID gonna keep us down no more, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. <laughs> Why don't you go get a snack? So yes, I'm gonna run for the District 2 County Supervisor position. And uh, that's gonna be in year 2023. Yeah, that's two years away, folks. You know what? That's fine. That gives me two years to sit in those meetings and learn all. I know it's two years, but I'm patient. It gives me two years to learn everything I need to know and to get a feel for what's going on how things work so I can be the best servant for my county and my people and my community that I can be. Now, there's one thing that I can definitely say, and I know they are probably watching because they watched my last video, and the reason I know that is because I never brought up the fact that he had pushed dirt over on my property and infringed on my property. I wasn't being gonna be petty about it, never brought it up. But it was mentioned in that email on the bottom, if you noticed that, and he said uh, that should be taken up on a civil level. Um, so it, they watched the video. <laughs> so uh, back to what I was saying, I am persistent. I'm a Marine, and the thing about that is I don't know when to give up. I don't give up. So you might be thinking two years from now, that's a long way away. A lot of feelings change, but not me. I look at it as a long-term goal because... There's one thing I've been searching for that has been the next chapter of my life. The reason I'm kind of making this video is because I've, we've all have chapters of our life. And the one thing I've been struggling with lately is what is my next chapter? And I've kind of been stumbling around and, you know, obviously I got my job and we're doing the homestead and we're doing YouTube. But there, you know, those are significant things of my life, but I didn't really feel like that was the next chapter of my life, like my next big thing, like joining the service and doing certain things and, and being a part of a great veteran motorcycle club and helping people out. And I finally figured it out. The next chapter of my life is running for that district C and being a person who can help my community by making changes and make it a better community for everybody. Because obviously, the district, the local government has failed me twice. One on a septic issue that took over a year to resolve, and two, this one. Um, I'm gonna, I wanna see some change. And the only way you can make change is not sitting in the background, kicking and screaming and complaining, and just laying down and taking it. If you wanna make change, you gotta get in the trenches and you gotta get uncomfortable and you gotta make something happen from the inside. Now, that requires me learning something new, investing a lot of my time to uh, learn this, these processes, the laws, regulations, how meetings go, what they talk about, everything. And I'm willing to do it. It's my next chapter of my life and I've decided that's the direction I'm gonna go. Other people have always talked to me about maybe I should run for something like that and who knows, it might lead to something bigger. I don't know, I'm, I'm a pretty young man. Uh, I got a lot of ambition, as you can tell. I'm pretty persistent. I don't know when to give up. Don't think you guys didn't help me out. You really did. We may not be able to rectify that situation over there, but you know what we did do? 
you help me find myself and what I really want to do. And we're gonna go down this path together and I'm gonna keep you updated on what's going on over there. And I'm gonna follow those channels and their suggestions. I'm gonna do everything that they ask me to do because there is a process and there is things that have to be followed. I don't know why they weren't being followed or they could have went a different direction. But nonetheless, I'm not in the position of authority to, to say what can and can happen because I'm just not there. But I'm going to put myself in that position, not just for myself, but for everybody else in this community because freedom! there's one thing you guys might not know about me is when I put my mind to something, I'm typically going to do it. Um, if you guys knew how I, was, how I grew up and the background I came from, you wouldn't think any of this I got right now is possible or where I'm at would be impossible. 100% all odds against me. So take it for what it's worth. <clears throat> and for uh, my fellow colleagues, hope you guys are watching this video. You can plan on me being there and uh, being respectful and just kind of learning and listening because I got two ears, one mouth. There's a reason for that. So I'm going to be doing a lot of listening, a lot of writing, a lot of learning. And, uh, and in 2023, we'll see what happens. I'm going to give it the best effort I got. And then hopefully we can work together and we can either bring some change or uh, push out uh, some things that don't need to be uh, happening anymore. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to put a little Superman cape on Miss Thing over there having a rough time with her feathers. And homeboy back there has got that terrifying Jeep that I got PTSD from. My head's doing a lot better, by the way. Let's see here. We gotta put this over our wings here. Just like so. She's all pecked up. Yeah, we'll take care of you, girl. Don't worry. Hopefully this will help her out. Yep. Yep, you going to be all right? Huh? You going to be all right then, Miss Thing? Huh? All right, you can let her go. <clears throat> They're all like, hey, what is that? What is that? What you got on your back? <laughs> I think they're all kind of scared of her, bud. She's <laughs> turning around like, uh oh, nope. Yeah, she's. She's just making her rounds, but oh well. Tell me, that's another rooster right there. Yeah. Oh man. Where? Oh, I see him. Yep. Getting too many roosters, yo. We got too many roosters around here. But they do have plenty of room to run around and and do stuff. Is that an egg over here, bud? They laying eggs over here? I gave him a little dust bath. <laughs> I hope they're not laying eggs. Doesn't look like it. Here, you wanna bust that against the tree or put it in their food or something? I'll bust it against the tree. Ooh! Ooh. This is your brain. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. Any questions? <laughs>
I only got a couple. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a rooster. Yeah, that's Four. definitely a rooster. Five, six. We have six roosters here. Oh, you see. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. Well, he didn't like that. He gets mouthy when I'm around. <laughs> he gets mouthy. Does anybody want some roosters? I got. I think I got six of them. <laughs> Either way, we gotta get a uh, sister ready for soccer practice. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's kind of a short, weird video, but I definitely wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with a uh, uh, property owner next door and what my future plans were. And we'll talk more about this in the future. So, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thank you. How was your first soccer practice? Good. Good? Good. You like soccer? Yep. Are we going to so play some I, more soccer? I'm a little tired. You're a little tired? <laughs>